Dan. Hey. It's been, yeah. it's been a couple years. Yeah, like two or three. Like anyway. two or three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not long enough for too long. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Great. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for having us out sure. to your amazing workshop. Well, that thank even you. has solar panels on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much for having us out. We're sure. excited to see what you've done and what you've created uh -huh. and, of yeah. course, how you're heating it. So what made you build it in the first place? Well, I've, I've been a woodworker for 50 years. Uh -huh. And uh, so a couple of years ago, I designed this and built most of it myself. And uh, I'm finally in it now. I've just retooled it. So I've got brand new tools, which are pretty exciting. Yeah. And I'm just kind of getting back into that groove again. Good. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's being great. I, I find myself there looking at the watch and going, oh, wow, it's 5.30 dinner. Oh, Jen, she's probably, okay, I have to shut her down <laughs> because I kind of get lost in here. You know? Sure, that's great. Yeah, so yeah. It's, a, it's a great space and it, it's uh, comfortable. It's warm when I need to be warm. Yeah. And, uh, there's enough room for me to do what I need to do. I'm not building any new big cabinets or anything. I'm tinkering around with uh, little artsy craftsy stuff and some some bookcases and stuff. So anyway, it's it's working. Great. Yeah, well, we can probably learn something about woodworking and, uh, and well, some other things. We're excited yeah. to see what you've made. Sure. Thank you. You bet. Yeah, this is uh, this could be this could be in a magazine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sir. You bet. This is like craftsman style. Well, you know, it's some. I. It's funny because I have this natural fur floor, vertical grain fur, right. on the floor. You don't see this very often. And it was kind of like this is kind of a dream where I can just kind of throw in it what I want and make it how I want it, even though it's maybe not really practical for a shop. There's lots of dents and dings in it now. So anyway, that was kind of one of the splurges, and people actually for a while, like before I filled it up with stuff, you know, it was all perfect and like. People would take their shoes off. <laughs> so, well, this is about 20 by 20, 400 yep. square feet, yep. right? When it came to like time for heating, what were your options? So the first thing I thought, well, I'm going to put a little little corner stove in here. Sure. And I started looking at the cost of the tank, yep. because it's propane up here, uh, the tubing, and then where did, how much room is it going to take? And with 400 square feet, if you lose, you know, 10 or 12 square feet, that's a lot. Right. That's this whole corner. Mm -hmm. So then I started, what else can I, can I do? And I went online, I think, and I'm, I don't know how I came up with heating green, but I saw you guys, looked at your things, and then went in and talked to you. Right. And it was perfect. I mean, look at them. You can't even see that they're really there. You don't notice them. Yeah, white on white. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of a cool. I've taken pictures of just the ceiling and with the lights and the... Anyway, it's it's pretty trick just looking at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they work great. I can come in and, uh, well, as you know, you know that it's not warm in here when you get here, but once uh, half an hour later, you start getting warmed up, start turning the heat down. It's like it just heats so evenly, and there's no fan blowing. Uh, sawdust isn't a problem uh, as far as combustion or anything, and they're just so clean. I really like how just they just blend. Uh, and you don't really know what they are unless somebody tells you what they are. Yeah. You know. So anyway, it's it's worked great. Good. It's been That's perfect great. for this application. So the benches are warm, the tools are warmer. Yeah. Like said, it's no, just no it's, noise. It's so different. It's like you can you know if you're, you stand yeah. you can feel the heat. It's like standing in the sunshine. Right. How hot how hot do you think that is right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you went up fries. Yeah. yeah. They're about, so those are, those are uh, two by four, 750 watts. Yeah. About 250 degrees. 250 degrees. Yeah. yeah no, we're going to have the, the, right under them and everything yeah. surrounding them. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very unique heat. I mean, it's like nothing that I, it's, literally it's like you go out and stand by that window and you get warm. Because of the sun. Same thing here. Right. You get under those. That's the same. Which is kind of why I put them how I did. Because then no matter where, because you can see this is like the pathway where all the tools and working goes. Right. And so you're always not, never too far away from some sunshine. You know, I turn it down about 55 at night. Okay. And then I come back in. When I'm in, I turn up to 60 usually. And within 15, 20 minutes, I peel in my coat. And uh, in the summer, of course, we don't need them all. But... It's, it's been very um, surprisingly comfortable, and I like them because you don't know they're there. Right. They don't make any noise. Uh, anyway, they're, they're great. Yeah. yeah. So, so you have a total of four. That's come kind of about two 1500 watt space heaters, mm -hmm. but they're not taking up any usable space. There's no yeah. chance of anything tipping over yep. and consuming dust or any. Have you spent any money on maintenance? 
On these? Yes. No. Okay, great. So, <laughs> yeah. talking about the obvious, there's yeah. nothing to fix. So, goes yeah. against the notion that uh, people can think that heat rises. Well, warm air that rises. Yeah. So, a little, little science for you. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah we're really grateful that it's been a, a great way to condition it. And yeah. That you use it often. And In the kind of never even knowing the technology was there, much less that it was made in Bellingham. Right. And uh, electricians installed them, and they've been great. Fantastic. I haven't... No worries. Good. You know? well, well, let's take a look at the things that you made. Thanks. Okay. You <laughs> bet, yeah. So, I don't do much woodworking. And uh -huh. What is this beautiful wood? It looks like it's got character and even like... Yeah, little wormholes. Worm wormholes. This is called spalting. It's okay. basically kind of a start of a rotting thing, but it hasn't softened yet. Got it. This is um, cherry, wild cherry that grew up the, up the road here about six miles. And I cut this down. I used to cut this up for firewood. <laughs> and my mom came and visited one year and she said, Cherry, Dan, what are you burning that for? You gotta make something out of that. So I had it slab into like this, and you can see this is the live edge. Yep. These are the bandsaw marks. Okay. Yep. And um, and you can see they all the you know, trees are circular, so they tend to warp one way or the other. So there's a bit of a crown here and a bit of a anyway, so to build something out of this you need to work on it. So right. This wood has been here, I don't know, 40 years or something. Okay. I'm not wow. here. I've been packing it around <laughs> four or five places. And you can see this one's pretty well, you know, most of the cut marks, the saw marks are gone. You need to joint this still. Well, straight as but, an arrow. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. This was a piece that, this was obviously a bigger piece, but this is a duck. Yes. You know, well, but you can see it's got some of the spalting in it. Oh, sure. And um, that was one of the first things that, that guy got, I didn't hang it onto him for, you can see his feet have already broken off for yeah. 30, 40 years and just one of those things that you just kept carrying around so with this, you. Does he have a name? Uh, the duck. The duck. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice having wood and then you make the project rather than say, oh, I'm going to build this thing. What do I have to do it with? Yeah. What can I do with this? Excellent. Here's the dominoes. I did the, the dominoes first. Wow. What do you? What kind of wood is this, all this? This this would be maple, which okay, is what right. this. And you can see how the oil just pops. Mm -hmm. And then we've got black walnut for half all the even dots. All the even dots. Black <laughs> walnut. All the odd are red oak. Right. So we've got black walnut, red oak, maple, all kind of local woods. You know, here's the set right here. Okay. Here's all the dominoes set up. I did those first. And how many uh, dominoes in a set? Just curious. Uh, 55, Fifty-five and a double twelve. Okay. Or double nine. Double. Sorry. Double okay. nine. Yep. Um, and about 495 holes. Wow. That's 495 drills. Right. And then you have to cut the dowel out of a three foot. So cutting the little plugs, 495, half of them black and half of them oak. See, you learn, you learn to tell. I did some math. <laughs> I did some math. <laughs> and then this here. What is this? And this is the box that I just kind of created this to. Um, also maple and something yeah, else. This is all maple. maple. You can see here's some half inch. And inside there's three quarter, and I did this so that when you put the dominoes in, you can still grab them to take them out. Interesting. That's why the space. Right. Anyway, this box I built as just a box. It was a solid piece, just like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, you build it, and then after it's done, you come back and actually cut on the um, table saw the top off of it. Okay. Bam. And then I've, I've already got it. Dead for the hinge. Yep. It's ready to go. Yep. So I'm real get, getting real close to the end of this. Right. If you have the tools, you can go from the rough to like some pretty nice. That is great. Yeah. That's great. And it'll be a, an heirloom. So well, it will. You know, that's it's something that you keep. And I have a son, and maybe he'll keep it. And right. It won't, but that's okay. That's I have grand, a couple grandkids too. So yeah. I was always always fascinated with buildings from ages ago. The architecture has always fascinated me. Okay. So I just fell into it that way, designed stuff, um, um, and have built probably oh, a half a dozen houses. In fact, until that house where I'm at now, I built every house I've lived in since I left home. Wow. And actually on the wall here, you'll see I have a couple of pictures. This was the first octagon I ever built. This is when I moved out as a 20-year-old to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cut all the logs on the property. This was a, a neighbor who had 40 acres. He said, come on out and build a cabin. Wow. So these are kind of the steps. And then this was the second one I did. This is a 20-footer. This is about a 40-footer. And this I shot off a cedar tree, so it's kind of a, a geometric kind of right. construction. So, um, 
I've been building houses for a while, and uh, that's just like I said, this shop might be my last deal because I'm not 30. You know? <laughs> You're not 30. Right, uh, that is amazing. But, but it's fun, you know, it's I can still look at the picture and it's just, it, it just looks neat. Yeah, uh, this yeah. is, this isn't uh, your first rodeo. No, this isn't. No. <laughs> so your, your space here, you said it's about 20 by 20, 400 yeah. square feet, mm -hmm. and you've got, looks like books, and you've got, this is like, I mean, this is like oh, yeah. almost too organized. <laughs> you got, well, yeah. Battery chargers and a uh -huh. little stereo system here and a refrigerator. Oh, yeah, you got to keep your juice cold, right? Your juice cold, that's right. <laughs> and you got bins, they're even marked, so you know what's in clips. Yeah. Well, I, um, the job I did for 20 years, where I retired from, I, I was their warehouse guy, uh -huh. so I organized stuff for them. So it just came naturally. Yeah, I, I learned that. it was interesting. I, learned, I thought everybody just had that natural bent. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not no. true. Far and few between. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it kind of just. It's just a natural way that I do things. And even as I um, outfitted the shop, you know, when it was just a building, blank space, it's like, how do I do this? You know, right. It's not real big. A lot of shops are bigger because obviously tools take up some room. Uh, but you can see I actually just figure out what tools do I buy. No matter what kind of shop you have, it needs some, some right. flat space. And, and I built this just like everything else. You can see these little clips. I have uh, casters I can set roll into here. Okay. Wow. And then I can just step on it and raise it up. And I can actually move this to where I can modular. Anyway, so, um, so that's these three that were actually used in the domino thing. As was that. As was that. So yeah. literally... Every tool in here, with the exception of that spindle sander, mm -hmm. I used on the domino project. Excellent. And that's kind of how I figured out what to start up with. Right. I mean, I worked with tools before, but I used all these on one project. Okay. So, and if you can do dominoes, you can do anything. That's great. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's right. It's definitely inspiring. Yeah. Yeah, so. that's great.